the IMES business is not just a commodity service in which we maintain our clients' applications ecosystem working, what we usually call the KTLO, keep the lights on it, but it's uh, much more than that. So for us, the MES is a, an enabler for our clients being able to gain competitive advantage. MES is a mix of process and technologies applied by highly skilled consultants, which are supported more and more by, by automation. And all these uh, process and service that we call uh, AMS are continuously improved um, every day by uh, the, the experience that we gain uh, working in our clients and, and lesson planning. And in the case of Portugal, we are lucky because we have 30% um, market share uh, in Portugal, uh, working in many different industries from uh, oil and gas to manufacturing, telecommunications, uh, banking and insurance, and so on. So all, with all those experience and lessons, learned, we are able to provide to our clients the best possible service in this um, highly competitive uh, AMS business. About 15 years ago, we decided that uh, we didn't want, in fact, to have a team that was unflexible. Also because we wanted to actually have skills that we could bring whenever we needed, rather than have those skills in-house. And um, with that also, uh, obviously, we wouldn't have the flexibility that we, that we require because um, uh, today we've got one set of functionality, tomorrow we have another. And primarily we wanted a team that would give us the flexibility. It would give us the elasticity to add or take skills off, but it would have two major um, skills in-house. And when I say in-house, obviously in AMS, which was a consultancy mindset so we didn't want people that just came and implemented a piece of software or that maintained a set of functionality. We wanted people that had a mindset of consultants as well as the capabilities of the technology that we're implementing. If I have to define AMS in a word, partnership. Working side, side by side with our clients to overcome business challenges. How do we do it? In a word, team, through our people. I normally say that we are in a business and in a people business in, 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 a, in a skills business and skills depend on people. So in a nutshell, people is the core of our business, creating a positive environment with problem solving positive attitude that we bring to our clients in order to overcome uh, challenges on a daily basis. So in order to, to, to grow this, uh, this, this team, we have protocols with se several universities around Portugal. We have the, the best of IBM centers of excellence in our grasp. And we, we, we can bring it to, to, to overcome whatever the client needs. We do it to the success of our clients. This is AMS. Softins has been supporting Tranquility that and these collaborations continue with his high MS service, with the integration of Suriana, and more recently with the Generali. In this project, we have been able with high MS service not only to maintain, but also to innovate uh, our systems. The flexibility and the continuous search for the best way to respond to technical and business requirements were a decisive factor in our choice. AMS works a kind of uh, an extension to our clients' teams and workforce. Through Softies, uh, uh, high-skilled consultants, clients trust us a significant part of their IT departments, winning not only the warranty of a service with a high quality, but also a bigger and better capacity to focus their best persons on what really matters. That's the development and the growth of their core business. We can't look at AMS as the yeah, as a separate team. They, although it's a partner and we have a contract, but they have to be an extension of ourselves. And that extension of ourselves will not work if they really work uh, on the side with the uh, uh, with the requirements that are passed from the user. They have to be forward. They have to be forward with ideas. They have to question us, and that's the only way that the way I see it that we can move forward. AMS has got to bring us the elasticity of skills. It needs to be looking forward into the future, and forward into the future, it's in their own 
way of operating because that frees time from the from the people that are in the in the group to actually have more time dedicated to us to understand where we want to go. So they're not just maintaining the things on a day in day out basis and um, and position us to the future. So we also looking for direction in a, in a in a way because these are the people that really know what the what the companies are doing. Obviously, we also do do and we do follow what the market is doing. But above all, these people know they know not just what SAP is doing. They know what others are doing. So those are the kind of skills that needs to be brought into what is the future of an AMS.